Hello, my name is Pavel Kabir, and I'm a product manager and software engineer at Velixo. In this video, we'll demonstrate how Velixo caches Acumatica generic inquiries and learn some of the advanced configuration options that we can use to improve performance for very large inquiries. This tutorial assumes prior knowledge of the generic inquiry functions, such as GI, GI Lookup, or GI Lookup F. If you are not familiar with the topic, begin by looking at other tutorials and Velixo functions reference. So let's talk about how Velixo caches the generic inquiry results. We'll discuss the default strategy first. The out-of-the-box behavior when you use a GI or GI lookup function is to cache the whole inquiry result set, regardless of any filters you might have specified. Any filtering is then applied locally on your machine. This means that if you change, add or remove the filter clause in the formula afterwards, the update will be more or less instantaneous, because the full unfiltered result set is already cached on your computer. On the other hand, when you press refresh on the Acumatica toolbar, Velixa will, by default, reload the whole inquiry dataset from the ERP instance, thus accounting for any new rows that might have appeared since the last refresh. Let's look at an example with Felixa Reports Pro-Accounts Generic Inquiry. The worksheet you see on the screen will return a list of all Acumatica accounts, filtered by the range expression you see in the Filter by Account report parameter. To construct the filter query, we make use of the GI filter function in conjunction with the expand account range function, both of which are covered by other tutorials. We are invoking the GI function with the report parameters, and at that point of time, Velixo downloads and caches the full list of accounts on our computer. The filter clause that we've specified is applied on top of the already cached data. As we change the filtering criteria, no additional network requests are made to Acumatica, so the update is almost instant. However, if we click Refresh on the Acumatica toolbar, Velixo discards the inquiry cache and loads the entire account list anew. The behavior I just described will work well for many inquiries. However, what if the result set is very large? For example, you might want to fetch all AR invoices or general ledger transactions. In this case, loading the whole dataset can take a very long time. Let's do a GI function call using the built-in AR invoices and memos inquiry. It is present out of the box in all modern Acumatic installations, but if you wish to replicate this tutorial locally, Make sure that the Expose via OData checkbox is checked for AR invoices and memos on the Acumatica's generic inquiry screen. In this workbook, we list AR invoices and memos for a given customer and the date range. As you can see, I already have my filters prepared. As a reminder, you may consult support.velixo.com and other YouTube tutorials for a refresher on how GI filter works. Using the prepared filters, let's retrieve the inquiry data using a GI call. We see that there are quite a few rows being transferred over the wire. Now, if we do a refresh, the process repeats again, and the whole ordeal is taking a lot of time. Specifically for such scenarios, for each generic inquiry you use in your workbook, Velixo exposes the caching mode and refresh mode options. Let's look at the caching mode first. As we can see, the default setting is entire table, which dictates the behavior that we've just seen. The full table is reloaded upon every refresh, 
regardless of any filters applied. But as you can see, in this report we don't ever need the whole set of customer invoices and always filter them by both customer and date. In other words, we are only ever looking at a few filtered rows and in this case reloading the full table upon refresh probably does not bring much value to us. Under such circumstances, it would be wise to set the cache mode to filter specific for this inquiry. This way, upon every refresh, any filters that you have specified in your GI call will be passed through to Acumatica server directly, so that the rows which don't satisfy the filtering criteria will not even be downloaded. As we can see, in our case, it significantly speeds up the refresh process. The filter-specific mode comes with a couple of gotchas. First, it incurs a certain trade-off. With the entire table caching mode, you can change the filter expression even in the offline mode. I am now entering the offline mode in the connection manager. Because the full unfiltered dataset is already downloaded to your machine, changing the filter does not produce additional network requests. Not so with the filter specific mode. Second, let me reiterate that filter specific cache mode is not going to help much unless your filters significantly reduce the result set size. Failing that, it can probably be even detrimental to performance as every time you change the filter, Velixa will download a lot of data from the network. The final point applies in case your filtering expression involves certain or data functions, like contains or starts with. As of the 2020 R1 Acumatica version, a lot of the functions are not supported server-side. If you experience any errors, with a filter-specific cache mode, try switching back to the entire table. Now let's talk about the refresh mode. The default setting is full refresh. Under this setting, Velixo reloads the data from the wire every time you click refresh on the Acumatica toolbar. Depending on the cache mode we discussed earlier, it will either be the whole inquiry dataset or the whole filtered dataset. But at any rate, it will always discard the local cache and reload the data anew. However, in case your generic inquiry exposes a last modified daytime column or a timestamp column, you can do much better by setting up Smart Refresh. When selecting the Smart Refresh mode for an inquiry, you will be asked to specify the key fields. It is a set of columns that can together uniquely identify every row inside the dataset. For AR invoices and memos inquiry, it can be a combination of documents reference number and type. The small key icon next to the column name indicates that Velixo suggests the column to participate in the key. In addition to setting up the keys, you'll need to select the last modification field. It needs to be a field that is updated whenever a data row is added or modified. Most Acumatica entities provide either a last modified daytime column or a timestamp that will work fine as a last modification field. What happens under the hood is that during the refresh, Velixa will now remember what was the maximum value of the last modification field so that upon any subsequent refresh, it will only download new or updated rows. This allows you to save quite a bit of network traffic. As you can see, repeatedly clicking the refresh button now results in a much faster experience as there are no new rows to download. On the other hand, if we go to Acumatica and change an existing invoice or add a new one, it will update the value of the last modified field, so that upon the next refresh, you will still have the correct data.
To conclude, Velixir Reports provides default generic inquiry caching settings that are optimal for most common usage scenarios, and you will not normally think about them or change their configuration. However, if you notice that your GI or GI lookup function calls or Velixir refreshes are taking a long time, Velixir provides you with two distinct optimization tools, changing the cache mode and the refresh mode for each generic inquiry that you consume. The rule of thumb is as follows. If you are satisfied with performance, keep the default settings. If you wish to improve the performance, try setting up Smart Refresh first. It will require you to specify the key fields and the last modified field to keep track of the updates. Finally, if you always consume your inquiry with a filter that significantly narrows down the result set, try setting the cache mode to filter specific, which will result in a faster data load but will incur additional data loads whenever you change the filter. This concludes the tutorial. This was Pavel Kabir of the Velixo team and I wish you a glorious day.